Hey there, greetings to everybody. Welcome to the channel. This is Prog Monster. This is a show dedicated to progressive rock and other forms of rock music. And my name is Murph and I am the host of this show. So this is day 12 of my 31 favorite rock bands, uh, rock albums from 1982. So, uh, We've been doing this now for a while. This will be number 20 on the list. This is an album I don't own, probably should own, from a band that has a ton of albums that I didn't know about, and a band that I like quite a bit, and I should have most of these albums within the next year, so I'm sure I'm going to go on that tear. I just feel it with this band. So we're talking about Golden Earring. This album is called Cut. Uh, most of you will know golden earring from a couple songs one of those songs is on this album twilight zone that's the big hit on here you've all heard it heavy bass this is a bass dominated album in in many ways there's a lot of a lot of really catchy bass on this but this song in particular has it and i do apologize for the glow from uh, being underneath the lamp here so Anyways, uh, it's a solid album, uh, kind of poppy by Golden Earring standards. To me, they're a hard rock band with a lot better stuff in their discography than this album. But this album is notable because of that big hit. Um, they had a couple of big hits. This was one of them. And the rest of the album kind of falls into that sound. Um, very up-tempo, very beat oriented, heavy bass, heavy drum, uh, poppy, um, mainstream commercial sounding uh, golden earring album, you know, but still a good one. I don't think it's a bad album at all. Um, I just have other ones I prefer to listen to, but this one is uh, the one with the big hit, so that's why uh, it's got to be on this list for this year because of that hit, if nothing else. But there's a lot of other good stuff on this album as well. Um, they're kind of a quirky band, being Dutch and all, so they do things a little bit different than a lot of other bands. But definitely a band that should be um, paid attention to. Like they have, I, when I first started looking into them, I thought, okay, they got maybe three or four albums probably all through the mid-70s to the early 80s and then disappeared. Not the case at all. They've got about 22 or 25 albums or something like that. A lot more than we'd expect. And they came out in the 60s, not in the 70s, which surprised me even more. But I do like this album, as I've said. Um, it's got a lot of catchy stuff on it um, for a pop album. And uh, if you like this album, you can uh, hit the like and subscribe. That's much appreciated. Uh, don't forget the notification bell so you don't miss any more of the albums that are coming out. Um, and also, uh, if you want to comment about this album or comment about anything that we've been doing in this series so far, you can leave that in the comment section below. And uh, we'll be back again on the next day, which will be then day number 13 of my favorite 31 albums from the year 1982, the series we're running for October so take care and have yourself a good one. Goodbye.